That might be a five pounder right there. Just hopping it on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Please keep fishing out there. Whoever catches the most fish is safe from jumping in the lake. Whoever catches the second most fish is safe as well, but the last person who catches the least fish has to jump in. I'm not losing though. I'll tell you both that right now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at him. Baby with the first fish, get it out of the dock, get it out of the dock. Got him tight. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. <laughs> Good job. Are you kidding? Take it out. Take it out. Go up. Oh, show that muscle on that fish, baby. Show him who's boss. Just grab him by the forehead. <laughs> oh, it broke off. <laughs> That still counts. We got it on the dock. Yeah. Okay. And we saw how big he was. Yes. One eternity later. I lost. Mommy lost. Rylan won. But we're all gonna do it as a family together because why not? I'm about to just do it. I'm about to just go. Oh my god! <sighs> I can do it again if you want me to. Do it, just go, otherwise I'm a. Oh, mommy! <laughs> just go, baby, we both got. Yeah! <laughs> Rylan won, y'all. As y'all saw, she caught two fish the only two fish rylan really wanted to jump in so we just let her jump in for a reward for catching two fish you know and we didn't catch any so it's kind of like a win-win hit that big red subscribe button for me that would be amazing man we are out here in the fishing community trying this thing oh god for rick em up nation How's it going? We are back, back with another juicy video. We're gonna be testing lures on our pet bass. This is number one. Oh. <laughs> Here's the next one. We got another crappie jig. It's bigger. It's a ribbon tail crappie jig. Oh, he got it that time. Oh, <laughs> dang, Rocky. Rocky's doing good. We got two lures out of the way, and he's hit both of them. So we're going to give him a little treat. This one's flopping everywhere. Something real so he can actually eat it. He knows that's real. You know that's real, Rocky. There we go. We were going to do the lipless third, but we have came to a decision that we want to do the jig and we want to see him bite that jig. Mm. 
his potatoes. Oh, he hit it again. I'm looking at it. Oh, got it. Now we're down to the fourth lure, the lipless crankbait. Oh. We're down to the final lure, which is the frog. That was awesome. That went a lot better than I thought it was going to. He crushed almost every lure. The frog he didn't want nothing to do with, I guess because it was the last lure. Other than that, the other four worked awesomely. That was a one-time thing. Don't torment your bass with lures every day or stuff. You know, one time is fine, but if it's, if it's over one time and you just keep doing it just to enjoy it, it's not good for your bass and your bass is probably gonna die. I love you so much and please keep fishing out there. Let's get ourselves a little challenge going on. Freaking up nation, we have made it to this little, beautiful, juicy pond. The bait we're gonna be using today, if I can open it, is some night crawlers, man. We're gonna be bass fishing with real live worms. We got a little wacky rig set up. We only got these two, but this is a Texas rig set up. We got this on a bait caster, and this is a EWG hook. And then we got a little bullet weight on there. Let's do it, man, I'm ready for this. Just thread it through there, kinda like that regular wacky style then i'm just gonna drop it down there and let the worm do his thing oh yep here we go taking off largey largey Let's go, dude. Got a largey. He freaking engulfed that thing. Freaking sick. We got what we wanted, dude. He's good. I mean, if we throw it in the right fish's face, we could catch a big one, dude. <laughs> we could catch a big one. The real worm challenge. Fishing with real worms for bass. Uh, that's a big one. That's a freaking dandy, dude. Oh my god, that is a freaking big oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that's a tank. Biggest fish I've seen caught out of here, dude. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Oh my God. No way, bro. No freaking way. No freaking way did I just catch that fish. What is happening right now? Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my Lord, dude. Check out that monster, <laughs> dude, on a live worm, wacky rig style. Y'all have got to try it, man. <laughs> yes, yes, the frame on Big Bertha right there, man. Frick 'em up, nation. Easy for 
to four and a half pound largemouth bass. On the live freaking worms, dude. On the live worms, right here. Well, we're using a bit bigger ones like that one. Dude, I thought it was like a catfish at first, the way it was freaking tugging. I, I don't even know what to do right now. I'm speechless. I'm trying to like calmly collect myself. Dang, I'm begging. We got the small, little, ultra light for some bait, man. We got to catch some bait for these big poles, which is catfishing. There we go. The first thing we have to do is catch some bait. I'm pumped, dude. I hope I can catch a catfish. Oh, here we go. Got him. Got him. Big catfish just tried taking it, dude. That was a huge fish. Huge catfish just followed this bluegill all the way to the bank, dude. All the way to the bank. Live guy. After seeing that, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, put it in the pole holder. All right, it's in there. Oh, we got a bite, dude. We got something. Oh, we had something, dude. It's on there. No. Dude, what? Just casted that out there, dude. All right, well, while we've been watching and stuff, uh, I caught a couple more bluegill, and the last bluegill that I just caught, I had a bass follow it up to the bank and watch it and almost eat it. So now, what I'm trying to do is just hop this bluegill around, and if anything wants to smack it, it has the honors to. So yeah, we're just really throwing this bluegill around, letting it drop to the bottom, seeing if any largies will smack at that bluegill, which I think they will. Oh yeah, 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 we got something taken off. Yep, here we go. Got him. Got him. It's a monster freaking bass, dude. It is freaking huge. Oh my God, biggest bass I've ever caught. Dude, biggest bass I've ever caught. Oh, it just flashed me. Oh my God, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, dude! On the catfish setup! Oh my god, dude! That is a freaking monster! Oh, that is a monster bass, man! Live bait, dude! Live bait! That is honestly a four pounder! Just talking about how bass are chasing these bluegill up to the bank when I'm catching them, and dude. It freaking did. That is a stud, man. On a live bluegill. Oh my God, that is such a huge freaking bass, man. That is so awesome, y'all. We did it, dude. We caught something. We caught something. That is a freaking tank on the live gilly, man. Let's go. It's freaking bucket, dude. What a hammer, man, on some live bait. Bluegill. 
Whenever you're ready, baby girl. Thank you for the amazing fight. Easy, four pounds. Easy. Break them up, nation. Welcome back to another Dosh Gone video. Today, we are doing the part two of trying to catch that flatty. Last time, I mean, we got bites, and Melissa got some really shallow bites, which we were both thinking that it was flathead, but we don't know. I'm, I'm really wanting to target a flatty. You know, I might just throw both of my poles out with live bluegill, because I'm dedicated for a flatty. So, we're going to see what happens. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to cast net, and I'm going to throw my little wax worm around. I'm not going to record it so I can get my GoPro all juiced up. Let's see what happens. Part two of catfishing. We got a neighbor that is just jamming out with a couple of friends. So that'll be in the background. I don't know. There's something messing with it for sure. It's about to tighten it. It needs to. I really want to tighten it, but I don't want to fuck it. Ooh, I got a bite. I got a bite. It's going off right now. You ready? Yep. It's a big one. It's taking me out deep, babe. Yeah, you might need to reel those poles in. Big bite, y'all. Maybe hold the pole, but I still need that light for sure. Oh my god. Yes! It's a meat sack! It's a meat sack! It's a meat sack! It's a meat sack! It's huge! It's huge! It's huge, babe. That's the one! That's the one, babe. That's the biggest flathead we've That's ever so seen. Monster. That thing is freaking monstrous, dude. That's over 25, easily. Could even be a 30 pounder. It's the Wolf Nation, yes! We got that flathead. We got it. It's so big, dude. Yeah, try to hold Oh, 